Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors. We are excited to be bringing you a product from GearBest.com. We haven't nice. had GearBest on our channel in a long time just because there hasn't been much that's caught our eye, but this definitely has. We've got a 5.8 gigahertz FPV quadcopter. Yes, awesome. Online, this is listed as the, I wrote it down, the XKX250-A. Now that's what it is online. On the box it's the Alien X250. So if you really want to find it, we've got it linked in the description box below. Straight to gearbest.com and it is $69.99 or $70. So let's get into this without any further ado it and was, take a look and see what comes in the box. Yes, and it was packaged very, very well. Yeah. Um, here is the quad. It was zip tied into the box. Sweet. And black and red. It has a nice sleek like fin kind of thing up here. Lights all over the place. Yeah. All over the place. I like it. it. It looks way different than anything else we've had because of that little fin on the top. Right. Very cool looking. It came with... That's a bag of junk. I've organized it a bit. <laughs> that's the track. Four spare props. Two red, two black. There you go. Um, it has screws and some uh, nuts. Well, that's a screwdriver, screwdriver. and uh, extra nuts to hold in the FPV transmitter. You're going you're gonna to love the transmitter. This is the camera mm -hmm. with the wire for the FPV, right? Also, it has a micro SD card in there, uh, ready to record. And you just can slip the micro USB or micro SD card into the back of this USB that comes with it, stick it into your computer, and transfer yep. all the footage off. Right. Unfortunately, it came with a foreign, a Chinese charger. Uh, so I had to use a universal charger yes. that I have to charge this. Yes, Nathan's dad got us this awesome charger um, that's just crazy. It works so well. And the transmitter. Let's take well, a look. Well, and then the something charges off USB. Uh, this Dang is actually it. for the monitor. The monitor has its own rechargeable battery, and it, re it does recharge through USB. It's a very cool looking uh, transmitter. After I've put the monitor on it, that is so cool. Uh, it's really lightweight. Well, it doesn't have batteries in there yet. Oh. <laughs> and it's a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. So that means this is going to be good for kind of like FPV true. racing, sort of, because there's very little delay. And that's what I'm excited to fly uh, in live cool. feed with this, because <laughs> the last time we had one uh, with a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter it worked really well. Was the Proto X FPV, and I cannot wait to get this. And the other uh, quad itself actually flies on this battery. Uh, with the same connector as the Vista and Ominous. So I did already have, like Abby said, a charger for it, but I used a universal charger. Okay, sorry, I think I think the camera was dropping a bit. I've got a new camera set up we're trying out, and I'm just, it's very heavy, so. Yes, and then of course it comes with the in, infamous instruction manual. All right, the most important thing about this, though, is how does it function, how does it work? And that we will, I've already charged the battery, so I want to go test it out. Throw some double A's in that transmitter. It requires four double A batteries. And uh, remember, it is important to note, it says it came with a USB charger. It did, but it only charges the monitor. Right. It also came with, and this is this is their USA warehouse. It says uh, it came with an American charger and we got a Chinese charger. So that's no good in my book. Just so happened I already had another charger. So that's already one negative strike. But it has all kinds of positive things going for it so let's get it in the air and have a little fun i've got we're outside uh it's a little windy but <clears throat> i'm going to stand in the shade even though i have my shadow box on here which works really well and let's see if everything uh binds up and if it works let's give it a shot so <clears throat> we're going to turn our transmitter on first i think probably a good idea to do the quad next <clears throat> It's got bright lights. We're gonna let it kind of bind there, and then we're gonna turn the monitor on. Those little <clears throat> sounds you're hearing, or Abby touch, her touching the phone, and we have video signal, so that's awesome. I'm gonna throttle up and down, and now our props are good. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of chill here and fly since we're doing FPV flight, and see if the signal works. The quad is nice and has, uh, <laughs> have basically no delay, which is so awesome on my screen. Don't know if you guys can see this, but it's working oh, it's pretty dark. <laughs> really well. Uh, let me see if I can, oh, there's the house. <laughs> yeah. 
That's okay. I'll try to show you the live shot here. I'm gonna try to hit the cord. Maybe that's the flick. We'll find out later. Okay, so my screen went black when I hit that. Not sure why. That might look for a new channel or something. Let me try to hit this. There's my new ring. Okay, I think that might be actually returned to home. Try that again. It is. Okay, let's try to get. There's a flip. Nice. So you click the right stick, uh, and then pick a direction. It does a flip. Left stick is. <laughs> Definitely want to get the camera function. I thought it was turn button. Is uh Yeah, that's return to home. It's not working very well. That's okay, I know it is. The the best thing, I, I can't get over it, is how well my live video is working. I mean I can fly entirely just from my live video. I'm not looking at the quad at all. There's us. <laughs> and it just works. It just works. Hello, hello. Live signal. The collars look pretty good. This is a good one to just zip around and fly FPV. That's all I'm doing. Oh, there's a power line. So, I don't know if you can see me. Like, oh, 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 I'm upside down. Let me go grab it. Go, Papa, go. Bye-bye! No! I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, not too long ago I reviewed a, a 5.8 GHz FPV camera and monitor. And they were two standalone systems. It was just a standalone system for $50. This is $70. And you get the quad with the camera and a working FPV signal. I mean, I want to see if I can take it out front. I want to see when I lose my signal. Let's see. Don't here. break line of sight. Right. And I lost it right there. So not that's why far. it's important to uh, not break line of sight. You're exactly right. It's very important to keep it pretty close when you catch and stuff like that, especially. But when you're flying close and you just want to. Experience FPV on a 5.8 gigahertz signal. This is awesome. I really like this a lot. I like the profile of the quad too. It's easy to see uh, orientation, and it's flying well in the wind. It's got nice tight yaw control. Perfectly happy with the quad. I like this a lot. I can look at it and fly really well. And then I can look down and hey. fly in the background. How do I get this back to center? <clears throat> uh, just, just double click it. There you go. So I'm flying 100% FPV right now. And it's working extremely well. There's no delay. Like, you know, maybe an eighth of a second or something. Nothing noticeable. And now I can look up and I'm flying line of sight. So awesome. Works extremely well. Already applied $70. There's the you guys, if you, you uh, buy some of the stuff that I talk about, this, this is <laughs> this is one to buy. Seventy bucks and this is worth. Can I try? Yeah, oh god. No, sorry. <clears throat> Alright, FTV works extremely well. Alright, we got Abby on it now. I'm gonna do a little chase here with the camera. Well, you don't have auto exposure on. There, now we're good. What's front? It's facing forward. Red blades are the front. <clears throat> it's a little windy, so be cautious of that. And the camera's fully exposed. Pretty much. That I don't know. There's no indication as to whether or not it's recording. So she's taking the durability off pretty quickly. I'm guessing it's still working. Uh, 
All right. We'll chase it around some. Well, Abby flies. Hey, we got it. Nice. You're doing good. Are you glancing at the screen a little bit? No? You should at least at least look down. That's what it's all about. Oh, there's the house. <laughs> Fly towards you with SCV. Okay, you're in the neighbor's yard. Okay, that's a durable quad, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, you fly in line of sight, and I'm going to show them the monitor. Okay? So I know, I know it's hard to see, guys, but it really does work extremely well. Not losing signal at all. Definitely a good backyard flyer. Very nice. So I'm just going to chase you around a little. Light time's doing great, isn't it? Good job, Abby. And there's the neighbor's dog. Oh, there we go. Okay, I figured out how to actually record. Uh, you press and hold this uh, button in the corner mm -hmm. and you record. Okay, so we are recording our FPV now. So now we can finally show you guys how good it works. And so now you're seeing what I'm seeing on the screen. Well, I just lost the signal. I think our battery is getting low. Or no, we didn't break it. Oh yeah, battery's low. Yeah. Okay, I can see the lights blinking. We that's, didn't get a very on. long recording. No. <laughs> that's okay. So when you get a low battery, our lights are blinking there, you yeah. can see. Okay. And uh, sorry I didn't figure out how to record this until late into the yeah. flight. And show them the lights because I'm sure they didn't see those. It has the yellow and red lights. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, the lights I'm sure that'd good. be a good night flyer. Yeah, very much. And uh, you lose your signal when your battery is yeah. low. Okay, so let me turn There's this stuff no off. no signal. Really easy to do. Uh, really easy. I'm extremely impressed by this. And I'll be flying this more for fun uh, just because it's a really cheap version of something like the Proto X FPV. I mean, the Proto X FPV is nicer. The signal strength is stronger and definitely flies farther. But um, this is a cheap alternative to something like that. And you can record directly to the card that comes on this quad. $70 and this all works out of the box. I, I think I only have... I don't really have any complaints about this at all. It was Nothing. pretty easy to fly. It flew well. It looks cool. The transmitter is awesome. This all hooks in really, really easily. I want more batteries. I want more flight time. That's, uh, that's a win in my book. You guys want to experience some cool 5.8 gigahertz, which is extremely important. FPV, this is the way to go. I do need to tighten my screen. You can see it's kind of loose, but only folding down. So, hey, I absolutely really like this. I think you guys should pick one up if you want the whole FPV uh, experience. For under $100. For under $100. And it's not Wi-Fi. I can't get over how important that is to me. Uh, Wi-Fi signal when you're flying FPV, yeah, it has about a one, maybe a second and a half delay, and you don't really get a good response time. It, it comes in handy when you're wanting to frame something for videography or photography, but uh, otherwise, you don't really get a good flight experience. This is a very live, fast signal, and uh, makes a big difference flying on that 5.8 gigahertz. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.